Okay, here we are, folks. And we're it's Beano Black, and we're back. And we got two more nodes, basically two more suns of the super giants, more than likely. Now, this is on the ground. Remember, this is this is hitting the ground. Left. I'm gonna come down on it. Get in at a thousand. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit more so that we'll be able to blow in there good. And there is possibly why Native Americans in certain areas of the country, some are different on the owl. Owl means death. And there is a set of owl eyes. I've got some Indian friends. And there is two stars or two suns. Deep. So when I've been showing you stars from Navy, that matches up. And we, this is dramatic as hell because this is hitting the ground. Okay? Just like a flipping flashlight or a pair of headlights, ladies and gentlemen. Right between the eyeballs is hitting you right there. Okay, now we'll be able to go left. And what we were seeing uh, before I blew in. And we should be able to. And whoops, we'll give you a good look here for a second again right there. But since we're there, we'll pop in a couple more. And we'll get a really good look. Because what's great about this is getting you to see what the stars look like. This is a webcam on the ground and it matches up to everything that we're seeing in space. And then the pictures that I'm going to be showing you in the future, you're going to be able to tell what stars look like in these cameras, which are pretty much somewhat the same optics as what you got in some of these satellites. Not exactly, but this is basically a webcam catching it right here on Earth. But Alaska. You see here, wow. Stars right there, there. I'll get the magnifier out of the way a little bit, try to cruise up here through this. And there you go. Okay. This is our far left object. Down over here, pop this to 400, cruise over, get the other object. As you can see, it's starting to put some unique color off the back side. We'll get up to a thousand, boom. And then we've got a bunch of shots that I can show you in a row. And there's going to be a lot of videos on this, but you can basically cruise back and forth and look at all these because I'm getting these on the fly. I don't want to put up a lot of what I do is what I do. No questions asked, so check that out. There's some light curvature for you. Off of a super giant. Right onto the earth, folks, because basically in the future, I'll basically... I just really wish I would have got the recorder going right off the bat. It refreshed so fast on what I missed. So this is going to... We're going to show you what we're zoomed in on. Because basically there's there's two huts or houses for either the government, for the park system, or something local there or something. Shouldn't have built it in front of a webcam if it's not supposed to be there. <laughs> anyway, those are not car headlights, folks. And in the future, and basically you can see that there on a clear day. There's a house right there and so forth and so on. So save some video time here. Well, basically try to give you what's going on at this time here. And we'll get in on... i got to remember what size that I had most of that. I think I'm at 125. Then we got 16 here. 11. We're going back in time as this stuff came in.
And I'm pretty sure 1931 is the And actually, 1921 should be the oldest I got, I think. And now I know for sure that that's the oldest I got. Because what we're doing is you're seeing this. And when I've showed you black light before in Hawaii and everything like that, it's suns, super giant stars, folks. And let me pump up in this. And I don't know if we're going to end up seeing color from this one or not in the future, but we'll keep on checking up on this one, too. you got to check this camera out, too. And those are super giant stars up there in the sky. Okay. Thought we had another one to the right. Pop down in size real fast. Boom, boom. I guess it's just the one for right now. We'll get down to the normal size. And then that's kind of the halo that you get. And it's probably from one of the biggest suns out there. Just like what we see when we see it from the cameras from up at Soho. So basically not worried about showing you the time on them, we're just going through back through. And we'll save some video time and keep trying to get as we're going along through these. And then we get back to what we've got for a camera shot right now. And we got 2016 and I pretty much we got 2031. I'll open up another link for that one so that we get that froze and we'll see when another one comes in here in a second. And here's another one showing you the factual actual of these stars when they're black at some times. And I'll pump down, I guess, on, two, on 200. And as you can see here, some of these stars. And then there's going to be the remnants and the birds and stuff like that that we would end up seeing. And they're not birds, folks. Okay, Those are black stars. And we've seen it at the South Pole. When I was showing you the Antarctica stuff before, we've seen things that look like they were birds and they're not. They're actual light. That's right, black light from way the heck out in space. So you get a good example right there. With this one here and then at that time on there. And I'm going to try to say the name right now. Well, that's easy. Netcam FC. Okay. And what I got on that was I was at Four Peak. Uh, I think it's okay. Duh, you can read that there. Let's see, there's a lot of cams, so let's see what we're getting at this in this one at all. Nothing there. It's pitch black. Antenna there. Maybe that's all that is. So then we're just going to go down to readout again real fast here and see if we, what we're seeing right now and see if we got a time change. I don't I got the 31 action going on, and we've got different time change. You can you can read the clock. We did a time change there. That's what we have there. That's what we have there. So once again, hit a thousand. on this. Remember this is what's hitting the ground pretty much. Okay. I'm gonna go up in size on this a little bit. And that's the one to the right. As you can see it looks like we pretty much have something that's pretty damn dark right there. Okay and then That's what we got on this one here. And you can see there's two shadows there. So then we go across. That's our big object there. We got something big and roundish. There's some stars out around it. And it's that down there. Come down inside a little bit. See what we're looking at. And that's what you're looking at there. Those stars are so interesting. And then 
pop out. That's what we were looking at, that star group up there. We were looking at all this right here. Uh, basically that there too. And then we'll pop down to 400. Get over and get a fresh look at what we got going on here. Now remember the last time we were looking at this, we had this kind of like purplish image back there on the back side. So I get up a thousand. Get up a little bit so we can get that other star in. And remember, this is hitting the ground. You go to this webcam, I'll pop out of this shot, and then you can go to this one in the future. And remember, there's no, not much rotation here that I can see. And what we're seeing, and, from, and this is what I know about uh, Alpha Centauri too, is the idea that this stuff is just bleeding straight through. These suns are super giants, and they are huge. And you're just getting different things that end up with light curvature at certain times for bleeding the truth through. Okay? Actual fact. Forget the truth. Truth can sometimes be what someone's trying to brainwash you. I am telling you fact. Okay? You know what? It's always backed up with actual factual data. And that's what we're looking at with this shot here. Okay? So, it's on the webcam. Okay, what you're going to see, folks, is a great movie here. I'm just going to go right along. And no, the camera's not moving. It's a still webcam, and that's what makes it great. You see these actually shift. Either that or you're going to actually see some shift of the Earth. Okay? Now... This shot, I guess 31, I finally just got a new shot of this, so let me save that. Put 200 on that, and we'll just go ahead and go uh, 1,000. And I don't know what we had happen there. I'm get up to 1,000, see what we got here. We'll scroll across, we got the magnifier out. Come down on that on that edge. There we go. And now we got that action right now. And then we're pumped in at a thousand. Then we got those stars below. The stars above. And some purple action there a little bit. And we're going up a lot. We're up to 700, and we're up in those stars there. And that's that pattern you're getting there. The dark object up there. So it's all alignment. It's just like a gigantic biblical cord. And that's what I think that they're trying to start to hide out. But we know that... We know that... Uh, save some video time here. We know that... Centauri... Alpha Centauri... And then I just didn't, oh, didn't get enough milk. And then as you can see... That more than likely it's fading back right now. And then remember, we go 66,000 miles an hour too, following the sun. So now we're wanting to get into this spiral of our uh, cortex, our umbilical cord out here in space. You know, I'm rambling. There we go. I ramble, I don't babble. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so there you go. Three stars. You can see the shadows there on the back side there. So, and these are super giants, ladies and gentlemen. There's, there's tons of stars that are in alignment between the super giants. All those super giant stars, what they are is they're huge. Okay, you've heard dwarfs and everything like that. Well, they're all considered super giants, okay? In the main sequence, in the alley. And the giants and in the super giants and it's just spectroclast but they're all out there 